Previously, the last two days we spent exploring downtown Seattle. We walked around Pike Place Market, witnessed the iconic fish throwing, and grabbed lunch at Pike Place Chowder. We then moved on to the Space Needle. There, we rode to the top for a 360 degree view of the city, the sound, and surrounding mountains, ending our first day with a picnic at Golden Gardens Park. The next day, we spent at Chihuly Gardens and Glass. We shopped around downtown Fremont and explored and even visited the Troll. I will have a full day of these videos linked down below. So we are here in Ana Cortez this morning. It's about seven o'clock in the morning and we are here to get our 8.30 ferry and there's already a very long line that we are just waiting in. It is actually pretty chilly this morning. It's about like 55, 53 degrees. So definitely a bit cold, a bit cloudy. Hopefully the sun will get out for us though and we can warm up and yeah, just enjoy our trip. But we're very excited and anxious to get on our ferry this morning. So since we're going to be here for a bit, I'm thinking I might go down this trail here and check out the beach. We were just told that there's a bald eagle up here, so I'm gonna see if we can get a closer look. As it turned out, I was actually really thankful for the extra time that we got to explore down by the beach. We saw wildlife, beautiful wild flowers, and I got some really awesome shots of the ferries departing. And just as we were finished up, it was time to board the ferry. We decided to bring our car to the island to make it easier to get around, but there are shuttles and bikes you can rent. So the ferry leaves from Ana Cortez and goes to Friday Harbor. The ride over is about an hour and I believe it cost us about $20 to bring our car. However, if you are a walk-on passenger, it is free. The ride over was so much fun passing through the islands, attentively looking for wildlife and taking in the beautiful blue waters. I will say though, it is very windy and quite chilly. So definitely be prepared.
Once we got to San Juan Island, our first stop was Lime Kiln Point State Park, which is a super popular whale watching site. However, we did not spot any whales, but we had such a fun time looking in the tide pools. I saw lots of snails and even some sea urchins. We continued hiking along the coast, scrambling down to the water every chance we got. and eventually making it to the lighthouse before continuing our hike along the coast to a beautiful beach. After our hike, we stopped to have a picnic with a beautiful view of the Haro Strait in Vancouver Island, and we were even visited by some sea kayakers. Our next stop was the beautiful Pelandaba Lavender Farm. Now we are at the Pelandaba Lavender Farms. The Olympic Peninsula and the San Juan Islands are known for their lavender farms because of the coastal climate, so it's definitely a popular bucket list place to visit when visiting the island. One thing I will say is that I didn't realize how many varieties of lavender there are. There's like a royal blue, royal purple, a blanc. There's so many different kinds. Maybe if you were to come in July or August, there would be more in bloom, but it's still very pretty. Yeah. 
The Pelandaba Lavender Farm grow and distill their own farm-grown lavender plants all on site. Inside the shop, they have tons of lavender products, teas, bouquets, body care items, and gifts, which all smelled absolutely amazing. We continued exploring the island, making our way to Cattle Point Lighthouse. There's a beautiful path down to the beach that's lined with wildflowers. The rocky shoreline is filled with tide pools to explore. I saw more snails and sea urchins, and there are also some beautiful pebbles and stones down there. It's so much fun to explore and just walk along the coastline. With the waves crashing around you, the smell of the ocean breeze, there's no way you can't feel at peace here. Before getting back to our ferry, we stopped for dinner at Cast and Schooner Public House, where I enjoyed some fish and chips, which were absolutely amazing. We spent the last bit of our time walking around Friday Harbor, which is the main hub of San Juan Island. It's a charming, historical, and very walkable seaport with small shops and restaurants. In Friday Harbor, you'll find many museums, including the Whale Museum, but my favorite part was walking around the docks, seeing all the different boats and a perfect view of the harbor. We even got to see a seaplane getting ready to take off. So that concludes our day on San Juan Island.